Hey everyone, Ava Polly here, and today I'm going to be doing an Evangelion model, and this one is from Fujimi. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, this is T. Aridifolia Evangelion Test Type 1. And it's a giant praying mantis. I thought it was cool. Praying, I love praying mantises. I love Ava. And I think it just looked good with these colors. You get green, black, Purple, of course. Got some orange. It's it's perfect. And you see, easy to remove parts. Yay. And look inside. You can see a picture of what it looks like when it's done. Some other pictures of the stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, I guess these are decals. So the wings will move. The arm part here can move even one purple even one green okay yeah oh it has two different purples on the back this thing is looking great so it's going to be 195 millimeters tall or long and then you got 73 millimeters of i don't know wide and then 150 millimeter tall or long i don't know i can't read that yeah, we just get a shot. Oh, and this is also part of the Ava X project or Ava project. I think I see an X in there. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's the Ava X project. Sure. Little shiny sticker there. And here, a bunch of bleh. And got me Sato. You see what the pieces look like. And same thing as the other side. Nothing on the back. So, let's see uh, what some of the stuff is in here. In the, I know it's going to be just like all the pieces on the pegboard and stuff like that. So, we got the book. Huh. I like the uh, material of it. So, I guess this is what it looks like normally. And that's Ava 1. And then we got the directions. Showing us what to do. Pretty cool. We got the decals. And all the parts in this bag here. So, let me put it together and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Alright, well here it is all put together. And this thing looks amazing. I love this thing. Uh, I love Ava. I like praying mantises, so it was a good combination. I'm glad I ended up getting this. Now, it was easy to put together. Very simple. You don't need glue or anything like that. Everything just snaps. So, you can see the bottom of it. Pretty much all just black. Now, it did come with extra pieces. And uh, I assume, like, if you look, I'll move the wings a little bit here. It came with like extra pieces for here where you could have it all green instead of purple. But I, I like the way it is. It also came with an extra head or extra face piece, which I got rid of. It was also green, I do believe. I think anyway. I think it came with a bottom part of the head too that was black where this one on it is gray. But yeah, this thing is just... Awesome, I love it. So, it has a bunch of stickers all over it, which we'll talk about the stickers after. And I just want to talk about this. So, let's see. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's definitely long. All the legs can move. Now, the four back legs here are just one piece. So, there's no joints or anything. You can only move it right here, where it connects into the body. And they can go around... They can spin all the way, and they have a little bit of movement like this, and like that. So, there's that. Then you got the upper arms, the actual arms, I guess, because these would be the legs. So, they can move here, where it connects into the body. Again, it can spin all the way around, but I'm not going to do it. It can move all over. Good movement. Then you got right here, at like, I guess you would consider that the elbow of the mantis forward and down 
Then you got here, where I guess like that would be considered the hands, <laughs> I guess. That can also move. It can go straight. And if you had it completely straight, it goes pretty far. Now this little part here doesn't move. That's a separate piece to this. It just snaps into each other. Little pegs. You got the antenna. They can twirl. But that's it. They don't bend or anything. You know, that'd be kind of cool if you could bend them, but they'll definitely break. So don't do that. Then you got the head. You can go up, down, just a little bit. Can't go side to side, but it can spin around. All right, if we go a little bit farther, we have right here at, eh, not the thorax, eh, it's like, I don't know what you would call that part, on, but you can move this up and down, left and right, and that's it. Oh, no, you, I, these move to the actual, I guess this is the thorax, I don't know, I forgot that they move. So, a little wobble, they go up and down. And this part too, right down here. This is another section of it. Same thing. Now these pieces will come out. Uh, it's just little ball joints here and here. Pretty much everything is ball joints. Except for the wings. They're just pegs. And they come out pretty easy. <laughs> uh, they don't go far enough in to really stay in there well. But I mean, you can take them off. Doesn't really need it. You can have them get a little bit more height, depending how you position the legs. Okay. He can't go too far up. We can put his upper body up, and there we go. Pretty nice. And he, if you notice, his back does have four little holes. And that's because you can take off these wings and add more wings. Wings to make him actually uh, be able to fly. So he comes with these. Now let's see if I can remember how it's supposed to go. <laughs> so I do believe you put on like this. That would make sense. And then put on these ones. Now it's kind of hard to remember which one goes on which because they aren't this uh, flat. They do have a bit of a curvature to them. And once you take them off the uh, the pegboard or the plastic thing that they were on, it's kind of difficult to know which ones go on which, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so, I, th yeah, I'm doing it right. Never mind. You want them to curve outward. And then, this is what it looks like with the wings up. I like it. Really cool. I really like this thing. I think I'm going to leave it like this with the wings out. Now, I did have a complaint. Well, I have like two complaints. One, I wish the pieces were a bit more like the wings here. Uh, when they go in, I wish they would stay in. They're too easy to come off. So if you try moving them, chances are they're just going to come out on you. And then the stickers. I mean, the stickers look good. But there's really no, like, placement locators to let you know where the, a lot of them go. Like, these ones on the leg up here, uh, you just kind of guess where to put them. The ones on the bottom, the little orange ones, you can at least put them at the edge of the uh, little section right here. So you know where those can go. Uh, the ones on the back, little, they give it the spine look like Ava 1 has. Those ones... Uh, Pretty easy to put on. I mean, like, again, no markers, but you just put them on. Arm ones have 
no markers, and they kind of not shaped. Like these ones right here aren't shaped quite right for the arm because the arm has all these angles on it. So the sticker kind of gets a little bit like a not totally flat in spots where you might want it to be. And when you do get it flat, it still has like a little bit of a fold kind of. That's okay, I guess. I, I don't mind. Not bad. The only problem I had was the eyes. Now, the eye stickers was different than the other ones because they actually have like little cuts and everything in them so that you can bend it around the eye. But it just doesn't look that great with the stickers there. From a distance, it looks okay, but close up, mm, I don't really like it. I don't see why they couldn't have made it, you know, actual orange plastic. I mean, they easily could have had little pegs on just pop eyes on. But instead, they went with a sticker route, which I think was a mistake on that. I mean, you got the stickers here. Those look pretty nice. These are two separate stickers, the uh, green and then the little Unit 1 sticker. So you got to do those separate. You got one up here. And then they had stickers that, for the life of me, I think they didn't really need. Uh, if you look, little circles right here going down. It's The stickers are the same exact color as the plastic. It just has the black circle outline around them. And that's really the only thing the sticker is for, is just that little outline of the circle. But the center is still the color of the plastic that it's on. So, but they didn't do stickers for these top ones. These two don't have any to go on it. Which is kind of strange. I don't see why they didn't do that. I mean, if you're going to have stickers going, maybe because those spots were too small, they thought, to put the stickers on. Which, I mean, these stickers are a little too big for the holes. So they actually go out of it, kind of. So, I mean, like I said, I don't know why. But, I mean, this is a great looking model. And it was simple to put together. It took no time at all. I think I had this done in like 15 minutes. So, it, it, it's a great combination. You know, Evangelion and then Praying Mantis. Who would have thought? Now, they ha there is another one kind of like this. Uh, involves a lobster. <laughs> I might get that one, too. Just because I like Ava. And I like Ava combos with different things. Like, I have the uh, Mecha Godzilla with Avon Galleon Unit 1. So, I might get the lobster, too, and have all three of them together. But then again, I don't know, because I have my Mecha Godzilla Ava on the shelf with all my other Godzilla figures. One thing I'm really happy about is that they use translucent uh, translucent yellowish orange for the wings instead of it just being a solid color. Oh, and another thing. Besides it being easy to put together, it was easy taking the pieces off of the uh, the plastic parts that they were on. You didn't really need, you didn't have to cut them or anything and it was like you just You'd pop them off, and there wouldn't really be any leftover residue of the little pieces holding it on. Every once in a while, there was a little piece, but you didn't even need to. You just rub your fingernail on it, and it would come right off. Perfectly clean. Now, some stickers, uh, another sticker I didn't like was the wings here. So, the wings that have the green on it, those are just stickers. Uh, but they don't line up quite well. So, I think that's it's supposed to kind of overlap. So, you can have sticker on sticker from both sides. But, eh, I don't know. It, it works. I, I got it to go. So, yeah, this thing is just great. Alright, well, let's just remember my view of Fujimi's model of T. Iridifolia Evangelion Test Type 01. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And, as always, you all have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.